Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Margaret, also known as Seven Plaza here and on Instagram. And today is day 60 of the 100 day project. I have not a real prototype on my desk, but some preparations. If you've seen my video yesterday, that was the one with the very easy pockets from one page. Um, you might have noticed that I decorated it with some creepy crawly box and critters and such. Uh, and that's where the idea came to make some specimen cards, slides, thingamabobs. Um, and so that is my inspiration for today. I am going to make these together with you guys. I am very fortunate to have these two dies that makes these like templates for um, the specimen slide card thingies. Uh, there are also plenty of ways to do this by hand yourself. There are lots of video on the, uh, videos on this. I might make one one day, I have no idea. But, you know, I have these, so why not use these? I have made some from different papers and uh, I want to share a little thing about that with you guys. Because some papers work very well and others they really don't. But I was very curious uh, how they would turn out. Uh, most of them I have made from scrapbook paper, very neutral scrapbook paper. This was double sided, it has a little bit of a print on the other side as well. Also this one, um, that works really, really well. And then craft paper, that is always a good idea. Uh, you can have the craft paper in um, like the brown color. You can also make them black or even white or cream. So that works very well. Uh, and then this is a braille paper with the nice dots on them. It has a nice structure and I am very curious as how to like decorate them because they have the structure on them. But, you know, we're going to find out. Then a couple of things that are very unusual. I made this from piano paper. That is uh, this. This goes, uh, it's a pianola paper. I don't really know what it's called, but uh, it used to go into a machine and then the piano played by itself. Right? Yeah. Very, very old. Um, I love this paper. I'm always trying to find new projects to make uh, things with. I don't think this works very well uh, because it is rather thin and flimsy, but you never know. Then I made this out of real junk uh, paper. I made it out of this. This was the inside of um, uh, Easter chocolate box. <laughs> um, it's some sort of corrugated cardboard, but then very, very thin. It is sturdy. So I made this out of it and I'm actually really pleased with it. It's very, uh, you know, sturdy. So that's nice. And then I made this one also rather flimsy. But let me show you um, what I've used. Because I have a lot of this paper. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. This comes um, usually when I order something uh, as a filler in the box. So the, the um, articles that I've bought will not move about. And I have a whole bunch of this. So... I was thinking, why not try it? Uh, it does work, but I won't be using it for this project. I, I am, however, going to use this paper to make a faux leather paper with it. But that's a project for a whole different video. So I want to use the Braille ones and the craft cards and scrapbook and maybe this one. Hopefully you have one of these uh, dies. If not, I am so sorry. Let's start assembling and decorating. Let's start with the easiest ones. These are the ones made from scrapbook paper. Um, and there are scraps. <laughs> I used smaller pieces that I had left over. I have picked out some neutral colors because I think that will work best. It's some sort of a burlap design. And this is more like wood. And I don't even know. Um, what I want to do first is uh, decorate the outsides. I'm going to have this paper underneath because I'm going to do some stamping and such and inking. And I'd love to have some stamps 
um, on this paper to make something out of it. I don't know. I'm going to use some scripty stamp, some of my favorites, and um, also going to distress it. I'm going to do that first, just around the edges. And what I also want to decorate, these ones uh, are not the ones that you, um, you could use acetate on this for sure, but it's not see-through, so I do not see the point on uh, putting on acetate if you don't even see through it. I could, however, punch this out because I have uh, this uh, um, one and a half inch uh, uh, circle punch and it's the exact same size. So we could do that, but I'm not gonna make it very hard on myself. So I'm making it easy on myself. I'm not gonna do that uh, with this one. Maybe with another one, I don't know yet. Let's see how things go, yeah? Good. There you go, all around. Also, if at all possible, I like to ink the insides of this. Because I think that looks rather nice. Rather nice. There you go, that's inking. Now let's do some um, sort of splattering. Splattering without using real mixed media stuff. And water and such i just saw um barbara's new video for 49 De dragonflies she's making an another envelope flippy journal thing really really great does this show up oh, a little bit uh in a grungy style i knew she was going to do that because um she left a comment on my envelope flippy thingy and she told me she was doing a grungy style. Uh, and then she was, you know, using oxides and water and splattering. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, I'm never going to do that. <laughs> it looks so messy, so much work. And this does sort of the same. So happy with this stamp. So um, I'm also going to do some uh, scripty bits, but very lightly. So I'm not going to use black and I'm just going to you know, tap. Oh yeah, that works. Fortunately, it was upside down, but that's okay. You're not even supposed to really read it. Just, just for some background. I don't think it will show up here. No, not really. I'm sure you cannot see it. It does, it does show up a bit, but not a lot. But not a lot. I need to use black on uh, on this one. There you go. <coughs> That's the outside, but also I want to do something on the inside. And I'm thinking still some splatters and some text. Is there still some left on here? Oh yeah. Sure, sure. This is the part we're gonna see. Oh, you will for sure see the stamps on this one because this is a much lighter color, of course. Okie dokie. Now, for the, the focal point, we need to put something in, right? Yeah, that's the whole idea, Margaret, to put something in. Um, does this bend nicely? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, I did some fussy cutting. And for those of you who haven't seen my previous video, go, go watch it. Go watch it. I'll wait. No, I won't wait. Go watch it. Um, I have some of these bugs and such creepy crawlies um, and I did some fuzzy cutting and that took me a long time I can tell you. Let me show you. Before I fuzzy cut them I already inked them in advance um, because I am leaving a little bit of room around the legs because otherwise you will cut them off and it's much easier to ink them before you cut them out than you know afterwards so but i already took the liberty to make some and i was thinking to put the big dragonfly in here how does that look I think it looks amazing. Um, but 
I want something else to be in here as well. Like a small label or something. Let's go find one. I took out my labels, you know, the ones that I use on a daily basis. <laughs> uh, and I am going to um, use them. However, I uh, was trying to position them on the inside and it didn't just really work for me. So what I want to do is have them on the outside. But still, I'm missing something on the inside. And I am thinking to add another sort of stamp. But then in a little bit of a darker color like our friend walnut stain just to add some more interest in the background are my lights flickering or is that just in my head a little bit a little bit i am sorry for that i am going to try and fix that There you go. I think this will look much better. Does it? Yeah. I like this. So I'm going to glue this in and then decorate the outside. Hopefully the lighting problem is, is solved now. If not, I apologize. I cannot fix it, I'm afraid. Um, glue. Taking out art. Because that works best for me. And these little tiny bug legs. There you go. And glue everywhere. Oh, and my tweezers. I have some tweezers. Yes, I'm using tweezers now. Oh, dearie me. So professional. Really? Let's see how we center this. Oh, it needs to be a lot higher. I cannot fit the whole thing in, unfortunately. But I don't really mind it. I don't really mind it. This needs like a tiny bit more glue. Lift up your leg, dear dragonfly. Still doesn't want to stay down. Stay down. Here we are. Wonderful. Um, I'm just going to glue it shut. Just going to glue all around the edges. If you're wondering where I got these uh, dies from, you know, my Uncle Ali. there you go i think it's best to let this dry for a bit oh we should have glued on the inside here as well yes oh fast 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 can we still open it let go glitter glue yeah i'm sorry we need to glue this part as well there you go yes well, we, we MacGyvered it. We MacGyvered it. I am going to do some other bits to this. But first, uh, let's do the other one. We already did the stamping. Do we need more stamping? Yep. I'm going to have the circle one here as well. Because I really like that effect. Does it show up? Yep. It does. Um, this one? Look, that's like nearly perfect, in my opinion. But I'm very easy to please. <laughs> there we go. I do not have very high standards concerning junk journaling. That's why it's called junk journaling. I am centering it. It is something, you know, different for me. 
usually want to have things off center but i i believe when you do a specimen slide it's supposed to be in the center right i think so i believe so okay so gluing uh don't forget this part we're not we're not forgetting this part there we go i'm going all around There you go. Closing it up. Yep. Letting this one dry as well. What's next? Um, I am rather curious um, how the braille ones will work with inking and such. Let's do those. Okay, this is my idea. And this is an experiment. This go could go horribly wrong, right? <laughs> but hey, you were here then to witness it. Uh, I want to do some inking with uh, different colors. Yeah, and I'm starting off with the tea dye, uh, just the lightest uh, color. And I'm not going to put the tea dye all over but just in some sections a bit here a bit here a bit here i'm doing first this one <laughs> if it doesn't work i'm gonna do something different with the other one yeah like so maybe i should use like this yeah that works much better okay then uh, i'm going to do some uh, you know my new favorite frayed burlap Over here could be like smudgy grungy that's okay that's like sort of the look we're going for okay now for the next bit um speckled egg i'm just gonna try it Really want to show up oh yeah there it comes there it comes oh yeah Bit here and there look i i love to you see the the small dots they pick up the the ink yeah well it's different than what I normally do, I'm thinking I need to add another color. Some more greeny, some, something more greeny. I have that. Uh, the only thing is I don't have that in, I have Distress Ink, not Distress Oxide. So hoping that that will work. Yep. A little bit here and there. I took out. I took out my spritzer. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. No, no. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. I am not ready yet. Well, I'm ready with this one. I like it. I like it. It's different to what I usually do. And hey, oh, we also have the inside. Oh, well, we need to do the inside. Um. Tea dye. Let's see if I put something else on top of it, if that will show up. Yeah, then take the lightest color, why don't you? Oh, it does. No, it actually does. Oh, yeah. And then some green around these edges. And around here in the corner. Cool. Yeah. Well, experiment worked on this one. 
yes i'm going to do the other one off camera because um well this takes quite a bit to, to do and i also want to do some decorating here's how they look i also um inked all around the edges here's how my hands look yeah inked all around my fingers <laughs> oh, that's okay I am going to put some other stamps on. I am not going to use the stamp with the dots because I have enough dots. I think so. No, I believe so. Uh, so I am going to use this stamp that I really like on the inside. Um, which way is up? Oh, that way. I have this one here. Oops, stay. And I'm using uh, this, um, uh, what's it called? Walnut stain. Walnut stain for this one. Some over here. And I have these with these little numbers. I always forget which way it's up. There you go. And I want to do some on the outside as well. Over here. Oh, that looks brilliant. Yeah. Sure. I have more numbers and uh, something says field label. And I really love to have that on here as well. Not only the field label part. So I'm only inking that bit. Hopefully that will work. It did. There you go. And I have the whole bit on the back. Not forget to decorate the back. Yep. And here I'm gonna have. Did I decorate these bags at all? Not yet, but we will. Which way is up? Uh, this way. Hopefully. Good. Let's see. I want something over here still. I have another number. Oh yes, these are gonna look great. These will be fantastic. Yes. Um let's put some bugs inside here. Yeah? <laughs> let's do that. Uh what do we have here? I have and this one, that's a big one. I could have this like so. Why not? Why not have it like going that way? Sure. And then I have this green one. Oh, this green one looks awesome. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna use these two. What do I need here? You need you need a stampy bit. <laughs> Sorry. Just, just thinking it needs a stamp. Yeah, it does. Another one here? No, 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 no. That's enough. Let's glue them down. Taking up my glue again. There we go. Ooh, daring. On your mat. Now you really have to be careful. There we go. Oh, little bug. There we go. This one will fit completely, right? Yeah. Yeah, it will. I love it. And now this bug. You might. Oh, that's too much glue on. After these videos, you might love bugs. You'll be like, where can I get more of these bugs? Yeah.
It's just paper. It won't bite or crawl anywhere. I'm wondering, are there things that you refuse to work with? Because you just really don't like them or it doesn't feel good or, you know, is there anything? Because there's some, there are some things that I do not want to work with. And other people are like, yeah, but it's vintage paper and, um, you know, in the Netherlands after the, after the World War or maybe even uh, the Second World War, or maybe even during, uh, I am old, but I'm not that old, so I wasn't alive then. Um, they had food stamps for tobacco and gasoline and uh, and such. Um, it's beautiful paper. They're like small stamps that you can that you could probably um, get cigarettes from. And I don't know. It's, it's supposed to help you during the war or after the war. They just make me feel sad. It just makes me feel sad. So. Uh, I have some, I have some of these, but I never ever use them in uh, in my projects. So I use, I do use bugs. I do not use food stamps. <laughs> there you go. Um, I could do these, uh, but I think I already have enough. Let's do some decorating on the outside, and in the meanwhile, I will uh, glue these down. Okay. They're all glued, they're all dry. And now I want to do some more decora decorating. I took out some bits and bobs. Um, I have this whole bunch of whole reinforcers. I got some from my friend Barbara uh, Kunst, and I love them so much. So I went out and to buy, to buy that big um, die set from this. And then I started, you know, <laughs> so I did a bunch. Uh, what I want to do with these is decorate the holes like so. One over here and one over here. I thought that might look nice. And then add one more to them. Because why not? Because that's what they were made for. You can build them up. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that first. And I also had some, uh, let's first put this on the other one. Maybe that's the best order. Let's do it in that order. Use your tweezers, much nicer. There we go. Hey Jackson. If you don't know who Jackson is, Jackson is my cat. <laughs> he likes to make an appearance. Hi Jackie, hi. Please hug. Go, go and play. Go and play. But you've been playing so long. Mama, come and play with me now. He wants some attention. Oops. Now it's stuck to my tweezers. Let go. So now let's glue them on. I had to take Jackson outside of the room. He was like not having it. <laughs> Mama, who are you talking to? Well, to you guys, my friends. Oops. Yeah, I'm so good with tweezers now. Yeah, that's really my thing. Well, it's a learning process, I guess. <laughs> I love this effect. Yeah, I like it. There we go. Tweezers. Yeah. Um, I was thinking to have this one over here. Like so. And then this one over here, the green one, to continue the green. Yeah. Let's 
lots of numbers on this one. Is that straight? No. I'll have it on straight then. There's already a stamp on the back here, but I do like to add something else. And this one goes over here. Is it not too big, you think? Maybe. Do we have another one? Of course we do. Of course we do! Is this smaller? Yeah. It's the same one, but then smaller. Okay. Well, that is uh, like sort of perfect. Yep. Then on this one, I was thinking this one, a bigger one. Oh yeah, yeah. I like it. There you go. I got this from a friend of mine, um, Sheila from a wicked paper treasure it's a beautiful stamp of you know some sort of bug as well i have no idea what it was and i was, I was thinking about adding it but it is too beautiful so i want to hoard it still want to hoard it if you're watching my video sheila thank you i love them <laughs> it's so cute um i had a sandra label yeah yes let's do a sandra label over here Getting my pin out. As you can see, these um, bigger ones have like holes in the corners. And I think I want to do something with them. I, I'm thinking about it. Thinking about it. And then on the backs of these, this already has a lot. That looks official. Yeah. It needs a bit of inking though. Yes, it does. We could make it into a pocket. I'm going to make it into a pocket. I probably never use it as a pocket, but it's a pocket now. go and then the big one over here again making it into a pocket do we have the big was it this also on front no something different this will not be a pocket <laughs> it's way too small to be a pocket Yep, I don't know about this one. Sandra label? Oh, uh, I have some in here, probably. Was, was this green on the... Oh yeah, that was green on the front, so we're gonna do green on the back. Problem solved immediately. That's why I need enough Sandra labels. Somebody asked me in the comments, uh, who's this Sandra girl and where do I get the labels? Um, if you're on Instagram, Instagram, her um, Instagram account is Old Made Awesome. Her selling account is Oma Verkoopt. That is Dutch. Just look, go to her Old Made Awesome account and it will have a link to her uh, shop. And she sells these all the time and she's really nice and she ships uh, internationally and she's cheap and recommend highly recommend good i want to do something with these holes let's do something okay so i have an idea for um uh, this topper as well i am going to use uh, this sort of specialty yarn is it called avril yarn 
could be i have this much i don't have like the whole bowl of this one so i believe it was sent to me in a happy mail and it was gift wrapped with it and i keep everything so i kept this bit and put it on like this small wooden spool let's see how much do i need that is enough just for a bit of fun on top see that looks nice it's almost like antennas yeah oh yeah i love that cute let's do the other one as well come on go through there you go and for these ones they ha these have these holes right there's a sandra sticker on one of them um so that's quite all right i am going to punch through the holes first and that's the small one and this one just to make them like real holes watch out for your fingers love because you know crocodiles they bite yep well they bite me and the last one there you go and i want to put um also these hole reinforcers on the square black ones yep oops stuck to my finger please let go Oh, I need to punch them, uh, the bigger holes, because these are bigger. Well, I'm going to do that first then. Punching the bigger holes, that's a better idea. And the other ones, I am going to use eyelets. And for that, I can use the smaller hole punch. Yeah. There you go. And I am using... Uh, I have these ones, sort of brownish, should we do something brown? Oh, this is not brown, huh? This is, well, that's what they call green. You know, I'm just letting you know that is green and not brown. Yeah, it's almost the same color as the Sandra label, so that's nice. And I need another one. Do I have another one? yes i do it's on a smaller setting it is even on a smaller setting and there we go one two you may have noticed it's gotten a lot darker because the screen of my computer just went to save mode, something like that. <laughs> it just went off, so hopefully it's not too dark, because I'm filming this at night. Uh, I was going to have bigger holes in these ones, right? Yeah. Will that work? It will, it will. I'm not going to put the eyelets in, no. I was going to do the square hole reinforcers. And then I have another little something that I want to put on here. So I'm going to put this on. Hello, Blue clues like you know you know the time you know what time it is this is not my time you should be like in bed because i'm filming ahead are you filming ahead so professional yeah i need to because i'll be doing some stuff this weekend need to work and do something else so i won't be able to film 
but I do not want to let you guys down because you're probably waiting for me to put my video on. <laughs> wishful thinking, Margaret, wishful thinking. Yeah, the last one. Almost done, guys. Oh, I hope this video is not like an hour long. There you go. And what I want to do with these ones is I have some nice beads. Well, not beads. Um, charms. I have some charms that I want to put on. First off, I have like these small bow clips. And I'm going to use the brass coppery ones. Here's one. Here's the other one. On these. Because... Yes, I have charms <laughs> that correspond to the... That is just too weird. I didn't even know I had bug charms, but I do. Apparently I do. I'm going to put them on. There you go. And uh, I even had a dragonfly. How cool is that? I'm putting this on here. Like so. Oh my gosh, they're so cool. Let's quickly look at the end result. Here they are, my cuties. I love them, but that's what I say every video. <laughs> no, I really do like them. Let me see if I can bring them sort of close up. This is the one with, I think it's a, like a wasp or something. I don't know. And then this was on the back. This is actually a little pocket if you want to use that with sort of antennas on it and then this one had the little bead with a bee I, 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 I couldn't like really grasp that I had this well I have this field label and then this was on the back oh, there's another field label well apparently this is a field label and then this with the nice green bug cute right and then this is on the back and then this one, the dragonfly, with the dragonfly charm. So cute. Yes, Daisy, I know, Mama's almost done. Daisy is my other cat. And this is also a pocket. So, Guys, I hope you liked it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And I will see you uh, tomorrow. Until then, bye guys.